Foremost Safety Solutions, leader in providing floor plans for schools. Spot on Response, a mobile app that delivers information to everyone in need during an emergency. And the Unified Incident Command and Decision Support System, USIDS, the national information sharing middleware from the Department of Homeland Security. Combine with your applications to improve safety, security, and emergency response. School safety requires a set of information about schools. You need the floor plan, emergency plans, cameras, maps. What you want to give to schools is situational awareness of events around the school, instructions from authorities, and support to teachers and security throughout the day. And finally, what you want from the school is continual insight from trusted team members in the form of everyday communications as well as private, silent communication from inside the school during an emergency. Let's start with information about schools. Spot on response, shown here in a tablet format, works also in your emergency operations center or command center on phones and provides you the ability to understand school information. So here we are. This is me because Spot on Response is a location based app. So I understand the context of the environment in which I'm operating. The red bar there says I'm close to John Marshall School. It allows me to understand the environment. John Marshall School, if there's a problem there and I'm the one responding, I get immediate directions on how to get there and immediate access to floor plans. Here's our floor plans at the basement level, second floor level. I can zoom in. I can see all the detailed information that's necessary in order to help make important decisions. I also will need to know more than just the floor plan. Here is a emergency plan, easily available, quickly displayed, and being able to provide the kind of information that when shared to authorized people become an important source of decision making. That one is Lincoln West High School. We're going to take a look at it and this is going to illustrate camera information. In this case we just brought in traffic cameras from a neighboring location which would be useful in a normal circumstance for the school to be able to understand what the environment is around it but also it is a illustration of being able to bring up cameras located in the schools and again associate all of them to this particular location the problem that we have that might be occurring at any given school other things that we're going to want to take a look at take a look at it in a satellite format perhaps or come down here to this school and wondering what it looks like we have instant access to all the Information that allows us to get a street view, all integrated, not just the school information because you can get this elsewhere, but it's the school information is integrated with all the other areas of concern that one would have in attempting to manage the safety and security of a school. So there's lots of information that I can provide about a school. Now let's turn it around. Let's take a look at that second part of our requirement, and that is to provide situational and awareness to the school. For that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to allow incidents, incidents from a number of different sources, dispatch systems, flood gauges, river gauges, monitoring systems. Over here, I've got a fire response to smoke that's been reported. I'm able to see that and get my directions to that particular fire response. As well, it's now telling me that me, located here, has three different areas of concern. There's a police stop nearby, there's a fire in the park, and there's the John Marshall School. And what I want to make certain of is that I'm not going to, if I'm a school authority, I'm not going to release my students into harm's way. What I have, if I'm sitting in the school, is an understanding right away that I have this trash fire nearby. And if I come down here, click on that trash fire, it's going to tell me that it's close to the school, that there are small crowd gathering around the trash fire, and that... I can even have a picture of the trash fire if I want. So the second part is bringing situational awareness to schools by sharing information from other government agencies to enable them to do effective planning. 
Now let's take a look at the third element. What do I want to get from schools in a problem time? Let's come over here to Louisa May Alcott School. Take a look at what she has to offer. Let's say we have an incident there. I'm directed to go there by this route. And what I have is not only the school floor plans like we've seen before, but I also have the response of teachers. I know that room B34 is reporting safe. Room 101 is secure. Room 110 is reporting everybody's accounted for. And they've even been able to associate a photograph of the students. Now, whether it's part of your concept of operations or not, I don't know. But technology allows a teacher in a school to provide evidence that their students are safe in a silent fashion that can then be shared, certainly back to authorities, but potentially out with parents through the police. So the idea of gathering information from the school is really what we describe as trusted crowdsourcing. Be able to have people who you know, who you have provided a username and password to, who you have given access to the system to be able to get information from public safety agencies about what's happening around them, and to be able to share information to those public safety agencies. Now, the reason that a teacher would carry this device, which is just their phone, is because it has benefit to them. Wouldn't it be nice if I were a teacher to know that there was a police stop here and that maybe my transit is going to be impeded? As you see, we've got the traffic from this area. I've got a way to be able to tell people that uh, this tool is useful to them every day. As well, I uh, have some weather information here. Are we here? There we go. We've got Parma there. We've got this kind of weather information coming in. And Westlake's got weather information. From a first responder standpoint, if I have a chemical problem, I'd like to know that I've got winds coming in at 4 meters per second from the west. From a school standpoint, maybe that's useful in planning a game but not the primary purpose of this application. The purpose of the application, as we described earlier, is to get information about schools in the hands of people who need it, to schools on a continuing basis so they have situational awareness of events around the school, and from schools in those occurrences when you need to have the true trusted information about what's happening in a school. Bring those three things together in an integrated system with floor plans, with the Unified Incident Command Decision Support as the middleware sharing all the information, and spot-on response as the tool for your command center, your mobile application in your uh, vehicle, as well as in the palm of your hand, and you end up with a excellent capacity to provide the information that's absolutely essential in not only a school safety problem, but all kinds of emergencies.